This is the Ghetto Free Press. I'm joining Austin Rams, and while I was leaving San Cofo, uh, the museum display, I saw these people here sitting up. I met the brother there before. Interviewed him. You can find him uh, on a Juneteenth uh, celebration uh, downtown. I got him in that video. And since I was here, I thought I would film the artwork that he has displayed here. And uh, I'm gonna let him talk in a few minutes. But the bottom line is that this is what we gotta do. We gotta use our hands and our talents that God gave us to make a living and to help us to stay out of jails and prison because we're not being employed by others so we got to create our own jobs and we gotta learn how to be productive. And God has instilled a rich heritage among our people with various talents and just too often we ignore the talents that God has given us. All these things here was done, uh, I guess, by the family or by this brother here. Uh, and it's amazing that the gifts we have, and then we don't buy from one another. We don't patronize each other in business. And I was in business for 14 years, so I'm talking from what I know. I'm not talking about what I read or guess. When a black man or woman open a business, it seems like we want to go everywhere but to them. Once again, just to get on free press doing what I do because it must be done. How are you doing today, brother? I'm doing fine. How are good, you? Good, good. Uh, Milton. Milton. What's the name again? Milton Rogers. Milton Rogers, what are you doing with this? I've seen you before down at Joe Teeth. I got you on YouTube, but I want to do it again. So uh, I know you got a child. God has blessed many of us with a Some of us not using them. I've seen you using yours. So tell me what you're doing out here today and why you're still at the university. I'm very interested in sharing my artwork with people, uh, especially young artists. And I I have a unique artwork that is made out of Eminem candy. And when I try to show that um, a lot of parents I've talked about single parent homes, and they don't have the money to buy paint and different uh, brushes for people. So I show how to use things from the home, like Kool-Aid and Gatorade, and paint with them and draw beautiful pictures. Some of the pictures that I drew out of Gatorade, I drew this one out of Gatorade, and this picture of the cross I did out of a ramen noodle chicken flavor package. Mm -hmm. and that's why I got this. This beach scene was made out of three different colored m &Ms. This one I call John 316 for God so loved the world. Is made, the cross is made out of chicken flavor package. And the heart is made out of red fireball. A ton of fireballs. Mm -hmm. This Gatorade rose is made out of Gatorade and a green internet. And this two pictures of a cluster of grapes are made out of Eminem Ball. Mm -hmm. So that's just a little bit about what I do. And uh, I just enjoy trying to encourage young artists. Right, let me ask another question. When you say this is made out of Gatorade and all these things and m and What do you mean? Do you mean you grind them up and no. put some chemicals in them? Or how, how do you do it? No. What I will do is I will wet a Q-tip and I will take the color from the m and and draw the petals to the flower one by one. So I'm actually not using them crushed up. I just take the color off of them. And just like if an artist would use paint on the brush, and I'll take and draw the picture with m and how did you come up with that concept? Who, did you go to school or university to learn how to do that? How did you learn how to do that? The University of Art and uh, I was burned out of my apartment about two years ago, and I didn't have any paint or canvas left. So I, I found out the M&M colors come off on your hands, so I figured they'd go on a canvas. So that's how I started drawing with M&M. OK, in conclusion, what do you call your display? If anything, or just Milton Rogers? Yeah, this is just. My uh, email is called Milt Art Mill because I crank out art. Okay. That's why I call it an art mill. Okay. Who's this young lady you have with you today over here? This young lady is my big sister, Fanny, and I love her. And she's very talented. She makes some of her own jewelry. And she's also an artist. Fanny, you got in your picture? She's also an artist. Yeah. And that's some of her artwork. So undoubtedly that gift just runs in the family then I take. Yes, and my mother also is an artist. And okay. I have other members of the family that are artists also. Okay. All right, and thank you.
Go ahead. Anything else you want to close out with? Do you have a website or anything like that? Yes, the website is here on the, on the card. Okay. And it's, it's in construction. And as it, they're able to go on the website and see some of the parts. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Once again, this is the Ghetto Frey Press, and I'm George Walsh Ryan, the voice of the people. Once again, Valdosta, Georgia, Florida, uh, Georgia uh, State University. I just went with King uh, Sankofa, uh, historic art display, and now I'm down here doing what we do because, look, let's face it, if I don't do it, who else will do it? Bye-bye, we'll come. Up and look back.